Hey guys, Lego Man 7777 doing a older review <clears throat> just before the new sets come out because they are out in the US. I just have to wait for mine to get shipped here. So stay tuned for those. I got three reviews that included this one for you and uh yeah they're all older sets that i just never did but anyway let's get started this is the tie interceptor <clears throat> number 6206 it has 212 pieces and came out in 2006 it was 1999 when it was available i picked it up when it was available obviously well, that's not true. I could get it online, but I wouldn't. Alright, let's get on to the one minifigure who comes in this set. Alright. He is a... just a TIE pilot. Nothing real special about him. He's got basic detail. Uh, no back printing. This helmet's got a little bit of printing on it. But uh, otherwise, he doesn't even have any face printing or anything. Not like the new ones. Do I have any new ones near me? Uh, no, I don't. But, um, yeah, here's his helmet. Nothing real special. I liked them back then. Oh, shoot. I always do that, don't I? Like, every time, I just drop it. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to show... Back then, they didn't have faces, so. He's actually almost completely just a black minifigure with a helmet. Which is pretty cool. But, um, anyway. Yeah, that's it. He's your only minifigure. I don't remember if he has a gun or not. He probably does, but it's just an old one, so. Alright. On to the TIE Fighter. Interceptor. My bad. We'll start out with the wing detail. Back then, this was considered good detail. I mean, it's really not bad. Mine's a little dusty, actually. Hang on. But, uh, it's not bad. I mean, tile detail. It's alright. The front is the same as any other set, so, um, I'm just gonna move my light real quick so we get the best lighting. Uh, whatever you can see in here, but uh, okay. Anyway, just uh, you know, it's just a, your standard Tie Fighter. That's the same thing, the same front. Uh, it's got the same little decorative piece on the top, and then there's your engine. I think that was supposed to be blue, but I think I lost it, so it's green now. Oh well. Um, doesn't. This is before flick fire missiles, so it doesn't actually have any flick missiles. Uh, why did that happen? Oh, because I'm dumb. That's why that happened. Okay. So on the front, you see you got your blasters and whatnot. Always good. I'll move my light back to like right here ish. So yeah, here's here's our guns. Not not too special, but they're guns. You know, so make them look like a spider walker. Huh. You can flip the wings and whatnot. Anyway, that's just me being fun. Uh, it did have sticker detail back then, which kind of sucked. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, the screen turns kind of yellow. Must be really reflecting off of the wings, but, um, your main feature, like all the, see, this one's old, so that happened a lot, but, uh, what you're gonna do is you open up the thing, you open up the cockpit, uh, cool, it's also a really old set, so it falls apart quite a bit, and as it's a little old control panel, 
Yeah, it's got his control panel. But, uh, you know, same as every other tie, you just... You just put them in there, and put your control panel back, and then you would just close it up. Hope you do. Uh, one other thing it can do is you can flip all the wings into like a straight position so it looks kind of like this. I think it looks kind of cool like that. Helps it stand better. Uh, whatever, it looks kind of menacing like that actually. But you're actually supposed to bend them in once to be accurate to the movie. But uh, we'll do a quick comparison and then we'll be done with this review. Sorry it's not really long, but there's really not much to say about it. I mean, it's a really old set. It was just more for play because back then it came out with a B-Wing, an A-Wing, a $100 Imperial Star Destroyer. So you just mess around with those. Um, my comparison is show this. Back. I don't know what that was. My comparison is the new Tie Fighter, which you can see is way well. I wouldn't say it's way better. The Tie Fighter is more accurate, but the Tie Interceptor is good. It's the best version. It's the only version. So, anyway. Thanks for watching. Uh, I do have two other old reviews to do. So, stay tuned for those. And, uh, and the new reviews for the new sets. See you guys later.